What's up everyone, Kato on the track, and today I'm gonna to be talking about something that is really, really important for every artist, producer, or songwriter, especially when you're on the come up and you're just starting to make money with your music. So, we're gonna be talking about how to properly set up your music company. I can remember several, several years ago when I was still an upcoming producer, I was just starting to get my name out there, I was selling beats online, I was selling beats exclusively to artists, um, I was starting to get publishing checks, but the problem was that I didn't have a business entity set up yet. I didn't have an LLC, I didn't have a business checking account, I didn't have anything. So all of that music income was going directly into my personal checking account. So when it came time to file taxes at the end of the year, I was paying a higher tax rate on that income because I didn't have a business set up. So that's eventually something that I learned that is really, really important. When I started to make enough money to hire a CPA, he told me that the first thing I needed to do was get my business entity set up and do all the things that I'm about to tell you guys. And this isn't really stuff that they teach you in school, so uh, I had to experience it for myself. And luckily, I learned how to do it before it was too late. So I'm about to run through five different things that you need to make sure that you do to properly set up your music company. Now, before I get into it, I should also say that if you're not making over ten to fifteen thousand dollars a year just off of your music revenue, then it's probably not worth it to do a lot of these things because there are costs associated with it, and it might end up costing you more money than it's actually saving you. Regardless, this is definitely good information that you want to know down the road. Now the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you create an LLC. If you don't know what that is, it stands for Limited Liability Corporation. And if you don't know how to create one, usually it's handled through your state government. You can just jump on Google, type in the name of your state and articles of incorporation, and that should lead you in the right direction so that you can create your LLC. It's usually a really simple process and it doesn't cost that much money to do it. Now when you create your LLC, also also make sure that you get a tax ID number. That's gonna be useful at the end of the year or whenever you file taxes. The second thing you need to do is go to whatever bank that you use and create a business checking account. Again, you wanna have your personal checking account separate from your business checking account so that all of your expenses, all of your business expenses come out of your business account and any music income that you make goes directly into that account as well. And that's gonna keep all the accounting separate so that again, at the end of the year, when you file your taxes, it's gonna be easy for your accountant or your CPA to look at the numbers and see what came in and what went out. The third thing that you need to do is set aside 30% of all all your music income for taxes. This is a big one. This is why a lot of entertainers and athletes end up going broke because they end up overspending on dumb shit and they forget that at the end of the year they still got to pay taxes on all of that money that they made. So it's really important that whether you have a separate account set up just for your taxes at the end of the year or you're just mentally keeping note and making sure that you're not overspending, it's really, really important to keep track of. Another thing that you can do that makes it kind of easier is you can file taxes quarterly or file taxes biannually, twice a year. And that's gonna make it just honestly less of a shock than if you were to pay one lump sum at the end of the year. Now the fourth thing that I have on my list is actually more of a suggestion. It's not necessarily something that you have to do, but my CPA recommended that I do it, which is open an investment account. There are different types of investment accounts, a traditional IRA or a SEP IRA. So depending on what kind of music business you have, you should definitely consult with your accountant or your CPA, and they should be able to tell you which one to open. An investment account is essentially a retirement account, and the benefit of having it is that all the money that you contribute to it and all the money that compounds in that account over time is tax free. So you don't have to pay taxes on that money. You get to keep more of what you make and it's usually a safe long term investment for your retirement. So essentially it's a tax shelter and you get to keep more of your money, which who doesn't want that? A lot of times it's not about how much money you make, but it's about how much money you keep. 
Now the fifth and final thing that you should do, but maybe this should even be the first thing that you do, is hire a good ass CPA. CPA stands for Certified Public Accountant. Um, and this is the person that's gonna advise you on what you should do with your money, how to open an investment account, how to set up your LLC and your company. They're overall just gonna make sound suggestions to you on what you should do with your money and how to keep as much of it as possible. Now I can say from personal experience that my CPA has saved my life. Um, he's helped me keep a lot more money in my pockets and just make the right investments and be smart with it. So even though it is a little bit more expensive to hire a CPA as opposed to a non-certified accountant, it's definitely worth the money once you can afford it. So hopefully that information helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want more advice and tips on the music business and other good content, go to my Instagram, at Kato Producer. Hit me up, slide in my DMs. Drop a comment if you like this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. I just hope you understand that we moving different ever since high school. I ain't never had a bad day since that day I just swine flu. I was throwing up everywhere. Now I'm showing up everywhere, now I'm blowing up everywhere, now I'm blowing up